Alright, so the problem here with the engine is the carburetor on this side. Just here, let me switch modes. You can see this right here. I don't know if there's enough light, but see that when you push the throttle, see a little bit of the fuel coming out. You go over to this side right here, push the throttle, nothing happens. So this side right here isn't getting any fuel from the carburetor into the engine. So if I try to start it, it all just runs on that side and not this side. So that's just one of the possibly, you know, tens to hundreds of problems of, that have gone wrong with this car that need to be fixed. All right, so the the float wasn't getting any fuel to it at all. I cleaned all the little nozzles and stuff that go to it, so hopefully that will fix it. I hooked everything back up, and we're going to get some fuel to the carburetors and see if it worked. Ooh. So to build up, get some fuel in there. See if it's getting anything now, at least. Oh shoot! That was just to get the thing running. I forgot to hook up one of the fuel lines, and so as I was cranking it over, it just was spewing fuel all over the place. So luckily, it didn't start because um, that probably would have been really bad. And yeah, that was pretty dang stupid. And now I might need to jump later because it was starting to die. But, I don't know. I guess we'll get it figured out. Luckily I didn't blow up. Getting everything back up properly this time and letting every bit of gas evaporate that had spilled so I didn't blow up. I restarted the engine and it started running almost like right off the bat. And I got out, it was idling, and found out that now instead of only running on the right side, it's only running on the left side. And that's because the left side's working now, but in the process of getting it working, I flooded the right side. So I took the carburetor off, took the spark plugs out, and right now I'm letting it all air out. So hopefully once I get that all back together, they'll all be nice and the way they're supposed to be. So I've let it air out for a while. It shouldn't be flooded anymore. Let's see what happens. See if it was both sides. All right, that side's warm. Cold, dang. So it looks like I don't know something is wrong with this cylinder internally because you can see that that's the fuel just oozing into the cylinder. Let's see, I don't know if I can get closer without it getting too dark. Anyways, I'll have to be taking that one out to see what's wrong with that one now. Turns out the reason that everything's spilling every, everywhere is this right here. The fact that there is nothing there is what's wrong. There's supposed to be a jet there that controls, I don't even know what it's for yet, but it's on, I think you can see it, but it's on this one. And last time I went to go look at all my engine stuff and I was, hey, that, that jet's not there, that's kind of weird. Well, it ran before, so that must have been the way it always was, but apparently not. So, I don't know what's 
going on then because the jet seems to have magically taken itself out of my carburetor. So now I have to figure out what the heck that jet is, get a new one, and put it in and see if that fixes my whole overflowing with gas carburetor problem. And I don't know, I have a couple days until I go to camp, a week of that, and then a week back here, so before I go off to college, so I don't really know if I'm going to get the time to get this thing fixed or what the heck's going to happen.